Orientation is locked. Rotate the device back. There we go. Okay. The gimbal doesn't seem very stable. Yeah, now we gotta figure out the gimbal. Should we restart? There we go. Oh, oh that's wow. pretty cool. Oh, rotate again? Okay. There we go. What? No, this isn't a vertical... Gimbals. I think there's a block. Okay. There we go. What? No, this isn't a vertical. No, there's, no, there's audio. Okay. Not gimbals. Can you see it? On what? On your phone? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're live. Yeah, but is the orientation right? Uh, no. I see a door sideways. Huh. Well, anyway, Is hello to everyone's here. Huh. Like, well, exciting first Black Friday to you. Maybe if I, if I do this, do I look <laughs> <laughs> We're flipping everything on its head, just like our prices. Uh, no, it's still, still... Okay, so should this just be a vertical stream? It's a vertical stream now. Okay, they're, 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 Web Cameron. Infrastructure for expert. Cameron shipped our uh, new website last week. Pretty cool. So mm -hmm. working on lots of connect features for you guys. And then uh, you guys all know Shane over there. He's working on car stuff. Yeah, Hard at work right now. What do we got on the office tour? Oh, yeah. And then uh, the testing closet. Testing closet. And uh, just a reminder that we're going to win. The, the, the legend, uh, the legend himself. <laughs> Sits by the wind sign. Guys, how many secrets did we show on all the whiteboards? Uh, all of them? None. Our beautiful wall of uh, metrics. See, this shows all the failures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Chris is in there. What's up, Chris? You can come play ping pong here. Oh, yeah. This is our uh, super hyper competitive ping pong room. The, the, the level used to be very, very low when we got the table, but uh, times have since changed and now. Everyone takes it very seriously. Alright, so we make our way over to uh, the rest of the tour. Should we go downstairs or should we finish upstairs? Uh, I can show for operations. Can just walk around and, and oh, we can show off the gym. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's show them our new gym. If you guys might remember bathroom land. We are hiring for most teams, so if you, if you like what we do, if you're interested in working here, please check out if there's a good fit for you. It's so our work in progress gym. You want to say hi? This is very exciting. I didn't even know about this room. <laughs> There's just so many rooms in this office. <laughs> I just learned about this right now. Wow, this is like a whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's Shane. The <laughs> Shane tracked this stuff. Thank you. Can you take him into yoga studio? Yeah. Oh my god. We got yoga tomorrow. I just realized that thing goes on the wall. It's a giant plane. Uh, And you can see our courtyard down here. Our Christmas tree is going right there. All right. All righty. We are hiring. Oh, no, we're still working our way over there. Oh, I grab an ice cream on the way. Can you show them Department of Hacks? Oh, the Department of Hacks is a little sad right now. Yeah. But somebody can come here and build a great Department of Hacks. This is where all side projects live. Yeah, we had this grandiose idea to have a room dedicated to employee side projects. Uh, but as you can see, it's just become a storage unit. Like We've been hard at work it's on 09 for you guys. Not, there wasn't that much time for side projects at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully that'll change. There's a little lunch room. 
you take them downstairs? Yeah, let's uh, let's go down. So what's, what's your plan, Deep? Should we talk to the hardware team? Uh, yeah, if you want to say hi. Unless they say hi to the hardware team. Hardware team here? Oh, no, there's no hardware team here. Oh, let's do it. The hardware room. All right, hardware team's downstairs. All right, but so Adib, what's the plan? We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna check out production. Yeah. We're gonna see all the cool stuff they're doing. We're gonna get a new device. And here's your keys. We're gonna get it into a car, and we're gonna have a customer experience. Yeah. Oh, we should have started off at the website. We can do that downstairs. Yeah. Do they have any questions so far? Do they have any questions about zero nine? Uh, I just see a comment that says 09, but no question. I see. And of course, uh, by price, there's never been a better time to buy uh, common trees. It's a pretty incredible deal. New version, lower price. Yeah. Less is more. Somebody says, this isn't Twitter HQ? No, it is not. <laughs> is that the Corolla? Oh, Shane brought it out in front for us. Yeah, get the keys. Can you show them our nice little optical furniture? Yeah. I think you're supposed to use a joystick. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Are you talking about the nav model? We can talk about the nav model in the car. All right. I'm going to close the door. All right. Welcome to Here's the, the devices you will not get if you order on Black Friday. These will go back and be fixed. This is production team. Should we start at Circuits Book? Yeah, let's, let's go at Circuits Book. All right. So Circuits Book is uh, there's some real amazing, it's some real, a real production line, conveyor belts. You just kind of put parts in and come out, we come out. Oh, is this stream? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So it actually starts over here. Victor is programming our jet printer. Nice. Wow, this seems so amazing. And then Devices, uh, oh, it would be cool if we had a device in each state, but this is a little hard to turn. So devices start out here. They get uh, the solder paste jet printed on. And then they go over to the pick and place, places all the components. And then over to the oven on this conveyor belt. All the way to our, oh, no, 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 turn. All the way over to the AOI, where they get inspected. You can see the uh, line is rolling right now, very slowly. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was already operational. No, we're not using boards from the line yet. Um, can you give us the rundown of 09? We'll do that in the car. What else? Good vegan? We do have vegan food, actually. Yeah, we've got pretty good vegetarian food. I don't know, is vegan and vegetarian the same? Uh, to our vegans, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't get the com uh, new head office. Uh, we only have one office. This is the head office. Yes. This is pretty cool. The optical inspection. It'll take lots of pictures of your comma three. All the lenses switch out super fast. Make sure everything's working. Oh, <laughs> that's our custom 3D printer board. <laughs> but right, so we uh, walk through production and take a device. Yeah. Oh, I think they're having their meeting right now. Oh, Maybe we shouldn't disturb, well, them too much. disturb them too much. All right. All right. This is where your devices get built. Are you going to watch all the features of Yeah, in the yeah, drive. In the car. Yeah. All right. And then, shall we pick up a device? Yeah, let's pick up a device. Should we sell them the process? Should we start at the website? And then uh, we'll go and pick it up? I mean, I think we know how to buy something. All right. I, mean, right. I assume they got that part of it. Fair enough. <laughs> I just wanted to show off the new website. But uh, we do have a new website. Check out our new website. Right, we we buy them right here. Oh and we've got all our uh, first comma threes being fulfilled for Black Friday. Wow. Ada, where can we uh, take a device? Pretend we just bought one. You will be in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where can we take what bin? We don't like it, we'll return it. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to know which bin they can take one out of. One of the way, whichever. Uh, Should we get a basic ship, edition? Right. What's the difference between all the storage variants? <laughs> all, right. all right great we got a brand new one new device we're going to show you guys the first install experience and then we'll go for our zero nine drive and we'll talk about all the details 
Is there a way to use the, the wide cam on this? I mean, I thought we tried that and there was technical difficulties. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna show them the fleet. Our, uh, yeah, a Chevy Bolt. Our beautiful Taco Bell car over here. In four weeks' time. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get out. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we need a few minutes to set up anyway. It's probably because our exit block, so. Uh... Alright. And this is just one of the two garage bays. Go parking for days. All right, we should figure out how to rotate, too. No, you can figure that out. Okay. Set up there Your very first setup. Okay. We got a brand new device. Brand new device. Still got the screen protector on. So I'm just gonna plug this in and uh, see what happens. Oh, it's just to store more driving data for your dash cam videos and such. No performance implications. I plugged it in. I'm just gonna drive outside because the security guard is very confused. <laughs> <laughs> we can wait out there. <laughs> Got 24 hour security. Oh, this is good. Maybe we should stop over there. Oh, but we got a Wi Fi range. Maybe we should just make our own. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the Wi-Fi put in. All righty, what what happens now? I don't think I've ever done this procedure. All right, now click continue. Continue. Of course, we want to install custom software. Custom software. All righty, let's do that. What now? Openpile.com. Openpile.com. Wow, this is really simple. And that's all the users have to do? That's it. After they pay $18.49 on the store? Yep. Where is the Accord? The Accord is back in the parking garage. Is there an option for in-person pickup? No. Guys, we can't have time to receive uh, clients. We've only got 15 employees. Oh, wait, it's already installed. Yeah, I told you it was fast. Zero nine is great. Virtually, Chris might come out of retirement. Nice. Great. I'm looking forward to the videos. Oh, terms and conditions. This is the smoothest scrolling part of Open Pilot, Alrighty. too. Alrighty. Agree. Begin training. Boom. Boom. I've done this before, guys. You guys should read what's going on. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Tap on the alert. Not on the alert. Uh, yes. I want to upload my data. Tap on the max speed. How fast Alrighty. can you ship? We ship same day. Two day shipping. Just like Amazon. Press the pedal. All right, finish training. All right, great. Are we, are we good to go? No, we gotta we're on chill mode. We oh, want to go okay. experimental mode. Um, yeah, let's do experimental mode. Oh, they say take the plastic off. They can't see the screen. Okay, let's take the plastic off. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. So I feel kind of bad doing that. It's such Maybe. a beautiful screen. I don't know. Let's use the. Uh, let's go through the normal flow on the off road. What's the normal flow? Turn oh. off the car. Oh, you haven't gone through this, have you? No, what's, what's going All right, on? Alright, so click on it. On what? Oh, on this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, this is cool. Alright, I'm out of chill mode. Let's do it. Experimental. New driving visualization, end to end control. Yes, please. Uh, it wow. turns red. Oh my god, look at it. We're on experimental mode. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Let's go for it. Alrighty, let's take it for a drive. When do you think the knee will be ready to ship? Fortunately, not super soon. Yeah, unfortunately, some other priorities are uh, taking that over for a while, but... I think you guys will enjoy the results. Yeah, That's... do you guys have any more feedback on 09 or questions about that? Are you going to sell that unit after the stream? We'll uh, fix it up and give it back to production. Is 09 compatible with Comma 2? No. Comma three only. 
So we are uh, waiting for it to calibrate. Which is pretty quick. Calibrates really fast now. There used to be a time <laughs> years ago when I think it was like a 40 minute highway drive was required to get it to calibrate. It was really embarrassing. And then you accidentally reset calibration and you got to drive another 40 minutes. <laughs> but uh, no longer. By the time we're on the highway, it should be good. Mm, someone asked about Navigate on OpenPilot, I guess. Should okay. we talk about that? Yeah, let's talk about Nav on OpenPilot. So yeah, one of the future, so there's really three big features that we've been working on for the last, you know, that's a, kind of the plan, which is, the first is end-to-end -end lateral planning, so it steers like a human. That we've already fully shipped, that's been shipped for a few releases now. Then end-to-end -end longitudinal planning, so it can control the gas and the brakes like a human. That's been uh, what we've been focusing on for the last few months, and that's what experimental mode enables. And then the last one is navigate on open pilot, so we would want to you know, humans look at the map to know where they're going. Oh, is there no map? No. We didn't set up Prime. Well, we don't have Prime, so we don't have a map on this device to show up. But once you have... Uh... Do you need to make sure you calibrate on a road with clean lane line? No. no. As long as it says calibrated, you're all good. So the way the calibration works is it, it just looks at the way the car is moving and uh, can know kind of the orientation of how it's set up, assuming that cars generally move forward. So it works everywhere, all the time, as long as the camera can see the road. So we're now enabled in end-to-end -end long mode. So it's doing everything, it's steering, it's uh, deciding how fast to drive. Um, I guess it's the latest few updates, it's uh, kind of usable. I think it's super usable on the Corolla. Yeah, so uh, let's see how this goes. So we'll try to go to uh, oh, really? somewhere in the downtown. I don't know why it really doesn't want to rotate. Maybe we, we can kill this train and restart. Alright guys, we'll come back in a sec. You can't really see that much. Alright, uh, right, we're back. It doesn't seem fixed. Okay. And you can pay us to fix it for you for a hundred dollar labor. So it'll just be cost of parts plus labor, or you can do the repair yourself for just the cost of parts. It's live on the shop right now if you want to go check it out. Um, I didn't, didn't finish talking about Navigator Nopal, but basically if we show the map of the navigation of where you're driving, the same one that you can use in the Comma 3 UI uh, to get where you're going, we just show the model of that map and we can uh, tell the model that's where you want to go and it should kind of figure it out by itself. We're kind of working on that on the side right now. Uh, there's uh, some branches open, but they're, they're not really close to, to being very functional yet. We're still kind of working on it. But that's how we're planning to get to Taco Bell. Put in the Taco Bell destination, press engage, and the rest will just happen by itself. Um, what else do they need to know? Do they have any questions? Does the lane change use the blind spot sensors? Yes, it'll block on them right now. Um, eventually, we'll start using the decamp for that and some corner radars on cars that have it. But yeah, it will, it will prevent you from making the lane change if it detects a car there on the cars that have them. How many of you guys have Gama 3s right now? What's your ETA on Taco now? As usual, there's no ETA. We on, would love to know too. On Taco Nav? No, no, just on Taco. Oh, I mean, you know, the deadline was the end of the year. We're very motivated to get there. Uh, as you can see, we're really working pretty hard. We've got the uh, end to end longitudinal shift in experimental mode. Just making these lane changes here. somehow ends up with a, in an interesting place to drive. It's kind of improvisation without the nav. I got more questions about 09? No, not yet. You guys have questions about 09, 091? The Black Friday sale. This is the cheapest time ever to buy a Comma 3, so get in while you can. Or if you're thinking about applying for a job, you have any questions? This is the time for questions. Yeah, well, we're... Uh, but as you can see here, uh, Open Pilot's deciding how fast to drive, 55. Is a pretty reasonable speed yeah. here. Some guy asked, does it slow down on curves? It's slowing down right now. Yeah, it's slowing down. I mean, the lead's quite far away, so that's not really what's deciding the speed right now. It's just end-to-end -end long thinks this is a good speed for this uh, this part of the road. 
Yeah. Usually it would like lose the lead in a, in a curve, accelerate a little bit, catch it, and you would have these big discontinuities. So we don't have uh, Navigator No Pilot here, so we're, we have to take the exits ourselves. And then this is a really hard part. This is what we'll likely still have to improve in the future. It's like slowing down on the off ramp. But I mean, it's slowing down actually pretty good here. Yeah. We'll see if it'll take this stop, the stop sign. sign. Yeah, it wouldn't have stopped in time. Let's take over here. Is the GitHub roadmap correct and 09 means feature complete? Uh, I mean, pretty feature complete. We know what everything looks like right now. I mean, there's only really been three big things that we're working on, which is like uh, navigator on open pilot, end to end lateral, end to end long. And, you know, we've we've shipped end to end long now in an experimental mode and we're working on navigator on open pilot. And that's, that's what we consider like feature complete. No, Mads is not coming. Stop asking about it. <laughs> Yes, you could set the destination from your phone. Well, it's the craziest edge cases you've seen so far in user data. I mean, there's a lot of edge cases, I guess. Will it swerve around cyclists? Maybe. Uh, it's getting a lot better at that kind of stuff, like uh, making making good uh, lateral decisions and moving around for stuff. The URL to install 09 is open. Is there a revised Taco Bell route from the new office? Oh, same route. Like slow down for this big dip. How do you train Nav from Gregor? Um, so we train Nav by just uh, inputting the map of the image and then ground truthing it on that. So, so we show it where the user went. We tell it if the user wanted to go there. This is our first red light. And down for a yellow. Here we go. It'll, it's very human-like. Comfortable stop. Look at that. End to end long. Last night I had it do an unprotected left turn. It was pretty cool. Crept yeah, up a little bit, stopped, and then went. I'm not sure why it's creeping up that way. Nice. As long as it doesn't go. Um, yeah, so we show it the image, we show it the navigation that the. Uh, that would have taken it where the user ended up going, and then we say, given this navigation input, I'm just oh. going to turn left here. This seems like a more interesting place to drive. Given that information, um, then just plan the best thing to match the human trajectory, and that will just work with Nav. So that's how we grounded it, and uh, we've got some experimental branches that work, but uh, we're we're still fixing some bugs. Hopefully, that'll be pretty good soon. Some guy asks, he had a comma two, he tried it out, but the follow distance was too long. So we've since shortened it, um, but with end to end, this should just be, once we have more conservative lead policy, it should be pretty human-like. Yeah, I mean, the problem is it's just, it's, it's hard to find something that's not too long in, in all situations and not too short in all situations, so it's a bit nuanced. But end to end is really good at, at getting those differences, so it should feel a lot more comfortable all the time. Will different drive modes ever be created beyond chill and experimental? So yes, but so chill and experimental are, they're not quite driver aggressiveness profiles. They're more, uh, do you want the polished experience or do you want to try the bleeding edge stuff? Um, so we'll have another thing on top of that. That'll allow you to select, uh, that'll be somewhat like a follow distance, but it'll be a aggressiveness kind of slider. Yeah, so this this right here is a really good example of the kind of stuff that, oh, oh and just stop stuff for the, the, uh, the orange light. Could ED eventually read the OEM follow distance settings and adjust the follow distance? Um, so, I mean, that doesn't really have anything to do with N10 long. It's more of like an experience question. And until now, this is how we've uh, designed the experience. Mm. Oh, the Corolla. Yeah, you have to click resume if you oh, engage at a stop. Yeah, it's a I Corolla see. thing. We should show an alert. Yeah. Um, here we go. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff that it's really improved a lot in, in 09, like moving over for these stopped cars, kind of avoiding these cones. Before it was a lot more lazy and kind of reacting to these obstacles around, but you can see it's, it's planning it really well here. The set speed is 45, it's driving a reasonable 21. Yeah, then we got that other light coming up. Does it stop at stops as well? Yeah. It'll do every, it just drives the uh, an appropriate speed. And from that, you got stop signs, lights, yeah. slowing down for turns. I mean, it's still like, uh, it, it makes mistakes still quite frequently, and, and the easier the situation is, the less likely it's going to be to make mistakes. Like these really clear intersections, like these ones, are the ones it struggled the least with. But um, this is slowing down a little bit too much right now. But, I mean, it's still yeah, I mean, comfortable. Like the speed limit here was 30, and it was driving 20, and now it's accelerating back up. I 
it's definitely not perfect, but uh, in, in a lot of cases, it makes pretty sensible decisions. I mean, it's definitely more chill than you know the ACC policy, yeah. which would just accelerate to your set speed. I mean, every now and again, I have it on the wrong mode, and I engage, and it just accelerates. I'm like, oh no, it's broken. <laughs> but it turns out that's just that's just ACC policy. I don't know. And then some guy asked again what the different storage means. It's just for your dash cam video. So if you don't uh, care too much about that, just go for the basic edition. It'll work exactly the same for Open Pilot. Yeah, any other questions? Has anyone tried out the end-to-end uh, -end long? Yeah, this guy says Excel is great. Oh, the new Excel from Stop? Yeah. Yeah, we did fix that in this release. Uh, a lot of people were complaining about how slowly it accelerated from a stop. So we, we bumped up the uh, low speed acceleration for the ACC policy. So hopefully that fixes some people's experience. Does it read and adjust speed to current speed limit signs? So again, it doesn't explicitly do any of this. It looks at the picture, the same thing you look at, and uh, it just chooses a speed to drive. Yeah. Yeah, so in these last few, uh, Last, last 10 minutes or so, it's been selecting the speed the whole time. And it can just tell by looking at the scene, you know, the parked cars around on the road, all that. It knows what's a good speed to drive is. You don't, you don't need to tell it to read the speed limit signs or anything like that. Yeah, so I see a lot of specific uh, questions about like very particular scenarios. Um, we, we don't look at any of that stuff. Um, it'll just slowly get better at more nuanced scenarios um, as we refine it. It should just kind of do something that's generally correct but maybe it won't be super comfortable right now. Won't the drive data degrade the EM EMMC chip? No. So we tested this, the, uh, we tested the flash really extensively before we started shipping the basic editions. Um, I wouldn't be concerned about that at all. You, you would have to be driving for years and years before you even start to be concerned about that. Yeah, end-to-end -end long is supposed to be a lot better in like stop and go traffic can in the situation because it accelerates much harder when necessary and is also more chill when it sees it's like more of a stop and go scene. I'm just gonna go here behind and take a U-turn. Is the inside camera able to see outside the driver and passenger side windows? Yes. Definitely love zero nine and ten long slowing down. Stop signs are hit or miss. Yeah, that's our experience too. Yeah, I think it's really quite good if you use it uh, properly. If you don't uh, just try to let it take every stop sign, it'll generally kind of slow down. And then if it's not going to stop in time or if it's doing something you wouldn't do, just take over and then re-engage. Taking over and re-engaging should always be very comfortable. How did you cut the model training time by days? Oh, I mean, yeah. Cutting the model train. So now I had to press resume. Or Oh yeah, you gotta press resume if you engage at a stop with a Corolla. Oh, I see if you engage at a stop. Yeah. Yeah. So cutting the model training time was a very, very long project. We probably that was probably a main focus for about six months or so. What we were doing is we had many, many training steps that we had graduated into over time. So we were training maybe four models, and one had to train, and then we had to run that model on all the data, and then the next one had to train, and it would just all the training times individually took long. There were many steps. And so we just kind of re-architected the system with all the steps removed and then spent around six months actually trying to ship this re-architected system. There was just so many subtle bugs and differences and things that we ended up seeming to rely on, even though that wasn't intentional. But so that was a, that was a huge project to just kind of simplify the architecture, reduce the total steps. And then on top of that, we upgraded to a new data center with much more compute and improved our infrastructure. So it used the compute much more efficiently. So it was, it was a very big thing. It wasn't like one trick, it was months of very hard work from infrastructure, machine learning, and everyone. Yeah, it's very exciting now. We're shipping models almost every week, sometimes multiple models a week. Um, so the pace of improvement is uh, really pretty incredible. Yeah, I mean, we went from shipping like a couple models in a whole year or two, over the last month, we've probably merged five new models. So um, it's really paid off these like six months of really hard work and improving the flow. Uh, you want to talk about some of the cool tests we have, like the, uh, the hugging test and like the speed convergence test? Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, one of the reasons that we're able to iterate through models really quickly and uh, ship them with some amount of confidence that they will improve things is we have a huge test suite that test both in Carla and in our own simulator that uses real data. 
uh, they simulate certain scenarios and they change a few factors. They check how the open pilot will drive if you give it certain issues like we can introduce steering wheel lag, which some cars have. We can introduce like steering wheel noise. And so we can check how open pilot drives in all these different conditions with noise, without noise, with lag. Um, and then we can build up some amount of confidence that it will drive well in the real world. And now for end-to-end -end long, we've got uh, similar tests for traffic lights, stop signs, uh, all in, in both Carla and in our own simulation stack. Um, and that means that, you know, you can make a change and you can kind of look at this entire suite of tests and kind of build up a picture of how open pilot will drive without ever having to actually get into a car, which is incredibly inefficient. There you can see cones, it's uh, well, pretty close, but made around. That's something we, we had in previous releases we were trying to get, get it to be better at, just detecting like cones and obstacles is something that's historically been a problem. Alright, so we got a few questions. Doing more work on RAM. Yes, we got a lot of new cars recently, so we're kind of just going down the list. Um, but yeah, expect the RAM to get a lot better. Can the open pilot be trained to press the resume? So you're probably talking about GM. Yeah, go. we'll fix up the GM. Um, why do we get torque limits so often with the latest two models on KNFD? Which car are you talking about? Um, I bought a Comma 2, two to three years ago. What tangible benefits would I actually see by upgrading to a Comma 3? I mean, this is it. It's chill driving on city streets. I mean, if you're on the last stable Comma 2 release, there's really actually quite a lot of differences between uh, Comma 3 and uh, Comma 2. We've obviously shipped these like experimental features now with uh, end to end long. I mean, just stopped at the stop light by itself. Um, but the lateral control has improved so much. We have now very good systems at automatically tuning for most platforms. Uh, the steering wheel is super precise. It used to be jerky. Um, we fixed so many different cars. Yeah, I think there's just so many improvements across the whole stack that either like subtly improve the experience, eliminate bugs, and then there's like the major stuff like this end-to-end -end long thing. I mean, just check out the release notes um, and the blog post for this release. It's really pretty notable. Yeah. Um, let's see what else did release. I mean, so we've just been engaged for like five minutes now. Stoplight, there's been obstacles on the road there's been cones are pretty reliable one guy asked does it take in multiple frames yes it takes in two frames it takes in two frames at a time and then it takes in the wide cam and the narrow cam as well and then it also has a history buffer itself so it can remember stuff was the u-turn manual yes so yeah the, the for the cases where we had to make like decisions like making turns or exits that's manual for now until we have navigator and open pilot but on this whole road here where there's been like cars parked a little bit in the lane and there's been stoplights and all the speed selection that's all been uh, fully automatic so here it's going to come up to a stoplight again that should be no problem oh this gimbal is so hard to use all right uh, trust us nobody's touching anything it's stopping for this light i mean you don't have to trust us it's the cheapest time ever to buy a comma three buy a comma three if you don't have one uh, if you don't have a supported car you can just Rent a car, buy a comma three, and if you don't want to keep it, you can send it back. Return shipping is paid for. That's actually a good idea for your comma two users who are asking what the difference is. I mean, if you don't see the difference, return it. it you've got 30 days. Yeah. It's easy enough to just drop in. It's uh, same harness and everything. Yeah, it's a no questions asked return. Just uh, give it a shot. Return, return shipping is paid for, so it's a really no hassle experience. I think it's all automatic too. You don't have to talk to anybody. If you always wanted to try it and you're going on a road trip and renting a car, just rent a Toyota Corolla that's supported, get a U a comma three, try it out. What's the fork though? It's not a fork, so it's uh, openpilot.com. This is stock openpilot09. We're driving on the release. Uh, Master has already got a new model, but uh, yeah, we'll save that for next time. Yeah, no, this is all uh, completely standard stuff. Uh, no, no weird one off discounts. $1,500. That was a one-time thing. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> I'm not figuring it out. Um, Can't recommend a C3 enough. Way better than C2. Uh, is E2E just one single model that does it all? Yep, just one single model that does it all. So it's trained in a simulation and we simulate all these all conditions in the one training run. 
uh, lateral noise, longitudinal noise, and uh, yeah, that's it. Shipping same day, yes. We're shipping every day, not just this week. We always ship every day, two day shipping, immediate fulfillment, in stock now. You said it tries to avoid cones and park cars. What about people or anything else? I mean, we don't really distinguish between these things. So the harder it is to see, the more open pilot will struggle. But in general, oh, I'm gonna take over here. I'm just gonna move fast. Um, but yeah, so this oh, is the first. Press resume. Oh. Yeah, it's a coral and quirk. So this is the first disengagement over these last uh, five to ten minutes and several stoplights and obstacles and everything. So just to give you an idea of kind of where the end-to-end -end long is at, it's on on easiest roads. It's uh, it's relatively reliable, and then the, the rest is uh, gonna come soon. So we got. I also don't know where I am. I should probably start going. <laughs> Took my C3 to Italy this summer. ED will never figure out how their driving style works. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. ED we might do better than you someday. Right, I'm gonna take over here and go around this car. Let me try to get out of the city. What else we got? Are there any more questions? Does anyone have questions about working at Conlon? Do you train or... your models also? Uh, yes, we train models. Oh, what? I don't understand what that oh, question means. Oh, on <laughs> EU roads. Uh, yeah, so. We've got majority American and Canadian data, but uh, we do upweight the uh, the importance of uh, non-US and Canada data in the training set so that we can get a bit more uh, driving style diversity in there. Uh, we've got users all over the place. Uh, China, South Korea, Japan, Nigeria, uh, India, all over the place. So we've, we, that's all in the data set. It's obviously it's, I think, around 50% American Canada now and 50% the rest. Anyone have a comma 2 and they're still having doubts about buying a comma 3 today? How is Greg's work on torque limits helping with OP? I uh, don't really know what that means. Comma Brazil says Brazil. That's cool. What does comma Brazil do? Is that, is, is that like comma Europe? There's one guy that drives a lot in uh, in Brazil. It's definitely seen him in the data set. Uh, I would go check out the Brazil office. That sounds cool. Um, what are you rocking there? 2020 Corolla, or is it 2019? I think 2019. Yeah, it's a TSS2 Corolla, so probably 2020, maybe 2019. Yeah, I think this is our most popular platform, right? If you include the hybrid. Mm, I mean. Yeah, if you just look at the top ones and then you merge the Corolla. I think if you merge all the Toyotas, then RAV4 is still on top. Oh, really? Yeah, but Corolla, Prius, and the RAV4 are all up there. Let's right, see what cones. Well, there's a lot of cones here in the city today. It's real, real, uh, really putting the stream to the test here. But didn't, didn't hit them. Went through fine. Went through a yellow light. If there's some uh, confusing lane markers on the road, doesn't even flinch. Yeah, no, I think you guys will be impressed with 09. It's in lateral, it's really a lot better at all these nuanced situations, like cones or faded lane lines, or kind of the road starts curving just slightly, S turns. That stuff has gotten so much better in this release. So hopefully you guys will uh, find that exciting. Any ideas on displaying converged auto-tune? Oh, we talked about that this morning. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's tricky. We want to visualize something, but we're not not exactly sure yet how how or what. So, but it's it's on our uh, it's on our, our roadmap. Does ED do anything with speed bumps? Actually, yes. Uh, probably slows down a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, it does see them right now. If red lights are working, that might be enough for me to upgrade. I appreciate the stream, guys. I mean, red lights are probably a reason to get you in, but you'll notice all the subtle things, and you'll just it'll feel a lot better. Um, these things are just really hard to communicate. On the highway, it should still be a lot more comfortable yeah. and confident. The steering has gotten so much smoother. We've spent a huge amount of effort over the last uh, probably roughly 12 months getting the steering from being like good enough that it will take the turns and everything relatively well to really feeling like that kind of superhuman smooth control. Um, and if you've got a car that's recently gotten tour control, which is our like new way of controlling the cars, you'll definitely notice a huge improvement. I think internally that was the biggest like feeling of, whoa, this is a big improvement uh, in a while. 
everyone that drove on it was like, damn, this feels so much more human-like and smooth. Maybe we should have done that 087 release, uh, like the launch, comma 3 release versus 09. That would have been cool to do on stream. Yeah. But you guys can all try it out. I think you'll be uh, surprised how big of a difference there is. Right, and uh, see how it accelerates here to the, um, to the highway speeds. I'm honestly kind of impressed with how well the anti unlock I told you the Corolla is really good. <laughs> You've got to believe me now that the Optima has the best steering. I mean, yeah, it, it failed on one of the stoplights and everything else, like 10 stoplights, it did super smoothly, very human-like, picked a good speed most of the time. Like, this is very, it's, very good here, 45 miles an hour. It feels super in control. Yeah. And slowing down here normally wouldn't do that. Yeah, What's the next toggle to be added and or removed? I have two I want to remove, but uh, they're not super easy. I want to remove lane departure warnings and, oh, yeah. and uh, reset calibration button. But uh, I really want to pull the trigger on a C3 right now, but my biggest issue is disabled AEB when doing long on my Hyundai. Well, but you, you don't have to drive with that necessarily. You can just uh, use the stock ACC. I mean, it'll still provide a lot of value. I mean, yeah, this E to E long stuff, on your Santa Fe, it's probably also not good enough to daily drive, so you can always just flick it on for a couple drives, try it out, and then hopefully, you know, we have something to replace it soon enough. So, it's always a choice. It's an easy toggle. Yeah, compared to, like, the stock Hyundai systems, open power is a lot smoother on the highway. I can vouch for ED, light handling, wet road, avoiding puddles, etc. most of the time on 0813. I hate the lane departure warnings. Well, you can turn them off. I want to make them good and turn them always on. Do you have the data on how many actually use the lane departure toggle? Yes, yeah. I think it's like 25%. ED braking feels really jerky on the Civic. Toyota long delay probably smooths it out, says Chris. Yeah, that is possible. There's really quite a few differences in the, in the long control. Um, we're, we're working on kind of unifying it a lot. Currently, we've mostly been focusing on the Toyotas and the Hyundais. Just waiting on EDE long slash AEB issue to go C3. So I'd say EDE long is good enough for you to, you know, be excited and have a comma three. I wouldn't really wait on the AEB issue. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a toggle. You could try out head to head long when you want and then just go back to stock ACC. Um, but I mean, hopefully you're engaged and AEB is essentially, uh, if you have cruise control, it's, uh, largely mitigates the need. Yeah. So, I mean, the hope is you'll be largely engaged with anti and long, and then um, AEB shouldn't really be a concern in those scenarios. So, uh, Open Pilot also does have forward collision warnings. I don't know if you guys have noticed those, but if there is a case where Open Pilot thinks it cannot break in time, but there should be more braking, uh, you'll get a red alarm. My friend is buying a Tesla with FST. Will I be able to one-up him with a C3 on a 22 Camry? I think so. I think it's, uh, I mean, it's not quite an FSD-like experience. It's, uh, I think experimental mode is still pretty chill. Um, certainly more chill than FSD, but uh, it definitely does some cool things. When are you going to get another VW Audi? Uh, actually, Ford is next. Maybe buy a Ford this week. I don't know about VW Audi. Is Albert Einstein monitoring blind spots when a lane change is solicited? No. I think we're coming up back home here, so probably should uh, wrap up, I guess, if we get back, so. All right, any final questions? Final questions. Ford exclamation point, yes, we're excited too. And that should have long pretty soon. We can do long at the camera. Um, long. And Chevy, we have a Bolt. Man, everybody clicks Bolt on the website. It's, uh, I didn't know people love the Chevy Bolt that. What do you guys think of the new website too? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Can ED break as hard as stock ACC? So yeah, we yes. have the ISO limits, uh, same as your stock ACC. Taco self-drive, soon. No, no uh, peens on the website? Come on guys, it's a great website. I know. I'm very proud of it. New site is too green. Does it have that much green? It's quite like green, it is. New website is nice. Ordering harness would be nice if it had a search. Yeah, we're working on it. Web team is working on it. Does anybody else want to come here and work on web stuff? Shane had to uh, do a shift as the web engineer last week. 
He wasn't super excited about it. <laughs> He's back on cars this week. <laughs> Love the new site. Thanks for the hard, hard work, guys. It was all Shane and Cameron. What do the people think of the new price? <laughs> Ew, web stuff. No. <laughs> Our web stuff is going to be nice. Cameron's working really hard on Connect. It's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. He's uh, doing an incredible job. Whoa, what's going on there? That fumigating. Uh -huh. Old town pests. Mm. C2 and C3 use the same mount? No, but like if you're super excited and you got your comma 3, it'll work. But you should probably switch the mounts. There's just a small part of the wide cam view that is obscured by the old mount. Is ED long using vision only? So. The end end policy is, but it also has the radar. It falls back to the old lead policy, which uses radar. Volkswagen Polo 6 is supportable with my own control with cruise control. Any way to support it? Uh, not sure. Go ask in the VW channel. We have a great Volkswagen maintainer who knows everything about Volkswagens. Oh, stop, stop sign? Goes for the stop sign. Goes for the stop sign. It's really pretty human-like. Do you think there's a point where radar isn't going to be needed soon? Uh, yes. We ha it's so good that uh, we haven't written the radar parser for our EV6 yet. Yeah, with end to end long, a lot of the need for the radar will kind of go away. The, the reason the radar is necessary is just, it's the easy way to write uh, assisted cruise control is to use the radar with the incredibly accurate lead speeds and then to write some simple logic. But that's not how humans decide to drive on the highway. All right, guys. All right. This is our first drive on new C3. Back at the office. Parking. Uh, does it look for oncoming traffic to go to stop sign? I mean, it's all, again, it works well without radar. I've tested it quite a bit recently. Yeah, it works really quite well. I was hoping that I want to go during a four-way stop sign. Uh, sometimes. Is OP long for Honda Bosch supported? In experimental longitudinal mode, yes. But yeah, that still needs some more to be smooth. What's the web stack? GitHub.com slash comai slash connect. Go check it out. Uh, any more questions? Is that it, guys? Any more 09 questions? What's coming up? Your nine experiences. Well, if that's all they got, all right, guys, uh, this is all right. buy a comma three. If, if you don't like it, send it back. It's going to be cheaper than it's ever going to be. Biggest sale ever. What do my comma points do? Uh, I'm not really sure. They uh, look nice. You should be very proud. I have a lot of comma points. I'm very proud of them. Just go live more often. But what do you want to know? <laughs> This yeah. was it. I feel like this. Uh, we didn't tell you guys that much. We'll do a Q&A every now and again if you guys have questions. We just didn't get that many questions. I traveled for work. How easy to temporarily switch to a rental car? Uh, I'd say the hardest part is probably removing them out, but if you've got a nice like workflow for that, then it's really quite easy. Um, extra cameras needed for full self-driving. Mm, we'll see. We should be able to make uh, lane changes with the blind spot monitor and the interior cam pretty reliably. All right. This guy says bye. I think it's done. All right. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, come through.